Hi guys! I am going to show you how to make a witch's broom. It took me a really long time to discover how to make one that looks good enough for a witch, um, yet like a rustic looking one. So um, here's my trick. You don't actually need too many items to make this. It looks quite cute. Um, the vital part of it, I think, is a piece of wood that looks like um, you know, it just has that that um, rustic look about it. Each uh, these are pieces of driftwood that I picked up at the beach. But you can use anything that you find in a forest or um, a garden. You can use twigs as well. Uh, you need your hessian fabric, burlap, as we can see. You'll need a piece of twine, or you'll need twine, scissors, and a glue gun. So what you do first is tidy up your workspace. Now measure first the width or the length of the brush that you want. So mine, the actual part of the brush is, is that long. So I'm going to cut it about half an inch longer like this. And remember you can Always cut it shorter if you're not happy with the way it looks. Then you simply fray the corners off. Or not the corners, you just fray the, one of the edges. If you take three threads at a time, I, it may work, may not work. Sometimes they get stuck. So maybe two at a time is probably a better idea. And you just keep pulling them out. You can use these afterwards for, you know, for gift wrapping or just uh, putting tags on the on the on your items that you make or create. So do it until. Pretty much all of them have been but the last um, half an inch frayed. Now lengthwise the fabric you can um, you can cut it about maybe two feet, but you may have enough for two grooms. So now this is the strip that's the width that's that's kind of left on on done. What you do is you take your stick, you take your broom stick. You apply a little bit of a glue on your broomstick and then you just you attach it, you attach the fabric, the on frayed fabric to the end of the broom and keep turning it. You, every now and again you can apply a little bit of uh, hot glue. And once you achieve your desired, I suppose, thickness of the broom, I'm happy with that. Maybe a more twist. You can cut it off. A little bit more glue. You take your twine, leave an end loose, tie it around, just hold the end so it doesn't move out of place. 
maybe two or three or four times. Cut off the end part. Tie a knot. You can cut them off or you can just leave them like that. I'll probably cut them shorter. And this is your broom. I think it's pretty cute. These are my previous ones. And as I said, you don't need a big driftwood. You can use uh, just a twig from the garden. Yoo-hoo! Ready to fly. Thank you for watching.